What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the weekend. Cheers. <laughs> well, you guys, hopefully, you guys are having a really great day today. Listen. Strawberry Vinegar, a cute comedy visual novel about a gluttonous demon and a cynical young girl uh, centered around the most important thing in life, food. The initial release date was in January, January 2016, and developers and publishers are Ebi Hime. But if you saw in the beginning, it's by Retallica or whatever, whatever that uh, what, um, team is. We have played games from there from them before, which is pretty cool to see their logo nonetheless but yes so this game or this visual novel it was um it was on sale for like what is it, like three bucks five bucks i think is it still on sale i don't know i couldn't find any information on it because everything is videos bro but hey whatever dude here we go let's let's get this story on the road Feed me or I'll reap your soul. Hey, after hearing those ridiculous words, my whole life was turned upside down. <gasps> Love. Day one, Monday. It's a, who's this? Oh, this is dad? Jesus, man. Why you have peak hair, brother? Hey there, Rie. How are you feeling this a beautiful sunny day? Well, let me tell you, dude, when I woke up today, well, it was a Friday, a Saturday. Right now it's Sunday, 1230. 12 Don't stop. stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday and a Saturday and I woke up like garbage, bro. <laughs> Jesus, man. If I woke up like if I was running a marathon, climbing the mountain and not swimming because, you know, but, you know, cycling through a lot of things, but other than that, it was a really good day. Thanks for telling me, Dad. I feel fine. Thank you. Oh, okay. We're just going to say that. All right, cool. I stifle a yawn with one hand as I slip into my, uh, to my seat at the kitchen table. I am a responsible girl. Yes, we are. So I always wake up early in the morning. Damn. Okay. Well, we are not responsible. Then. Dang it. <laughs> But that doesn't mean like do uh I like doing it. In fact, I hate it. Hey, you and me both. I don't like waking up early, but I have to. <sighs> the sunlight hurts my eyes. I'm forced to turn my head away from the open window and towards the wooden tabletop. I always thought this wooden table clashed with the meticulous white, incredibly Western decor of our kitchen, but I've gotten used to it over the years. I think this table used to belong to Grandma Nozomi, so Dad would never throw it away. As a precious keepsake of his mother, not that she's dead or anything, she's just been refurbishing her house, and she got rid of some old, some of her old furniture. Hey, I could relate, bro, because, you know. I, I bet other people would find my kitchen weird, not just my kitchen, my whole house which is just, uh, distinctly non-Japanese, but that doesn't bother me. It's not like I ever invite anybody over. Bro, listen, man, you gotta, you gotta learn something, Ray, or whatever your name was. Even if you invite people over, they will never come. Just saying. Who's this? Mom? <laughs> man. Our mother stacked and dad too. Oh, dad, why are you wearing that apron though, brother? shouldn't be wearing those aprons man like i can okay my <laughs> mom sits at the table one leg to cross over the other reading the newspaper that is busy serving breakfast white rice pickled cucumbers and miso soup that's pretty good cook so he makes most of the meals at home he has a whole drawer full of aprons to pick and choose from and this and his greatest pleasure in life seems to be selecting which one to wear each morning Brother, we went, I mean, you, dad, you went with that apron. Please tell me a close second was a, was an apron that says kiss the cook. Anything I, that, cause that looks like a gown to me, man. Mom, 
by contrast, doesn't like cooking that much. Her fingernails are way too long and carefully filed, and she hates it when they splinter or get dirty. Mm. Mom is a popular actress, and she cares a lot about her appearance. You might have heard of her name. Uh, her, her name is Shirakawa Yukine. Actually, no, I haven't. Sorry. Mom and dad are pretty uh, dissimilar, but they get along well enough. I don't think I've ever heard them argue before. So are we just, uh, is, my bad. I'm thinking that we're the dad, but we're not the dad. We're Ray. Is our dad just a run of the mill guy? Uh, is he, is he even a chef? A pastry? Did, did he go, did he play Waka Waka Sweets? What is it, man? I'm glad to know you're feeling all right, Ray. And you, and you'll feel even better after you try this. Ah, yes. Food. Breakfast looks good as always. The fluffy white rice, perfectly cooked. The pickled cucumbers just been cut to preci uh, precise coin size shapes. And they, they've been glazed over with vinegar. So they seem to shimmer. The miso soup is light brown and neither too thick nor too thin. And this been bulked up with white cubes of silken tofu and the diced spring onions. One thing that I do admire Japanese people and actually other cultures as well. You know, my, my mom, she's from Mexico and she would tell me that like, you know, when she was younger, you know, she would have like this banquet <laughs> of food in the morning. Right. And I'm over here. Like I'm good, dude. <laughs> I just one cup of coffee and like three cookies. And I think I'm set for like the rest of the morning after, you know, but, but you know, when it comes to like, cause like every, every Saturday, you know, I like to make pancakes, uh, bacon eggs. Um, and if I have any, you know, hash browns and stuff like that. Um, uh, but that's only every Saturday, not every day. And then like after that, you know, Monday through Sunday through Friday, um, it's just black coffee dude and every time i see other cultures you know having their breakfast like this like you know japanese people have some, something like this you know it just you know boggles my mind i'm like damn you could really eat all that and not have repercussions like later on bro oh dude like because like when i was younger right when i when i was going to school about like 60 years ago I would like not have breakfast. I, I would not have a big breakfast because I wouldn't want to go to the bathroom in school because they were always dirty. I would go number one, but number two was out of the question. So I would always starve myself up until I got home in the afternoon around three. But hey, other people have better willpower than me. Um, yes. Okay. The onions uh, float lazily in the surface of the soup while the heavier tofu sinks at the bottom, absorbing the flavor of the fish stock and soybeans. Mm. And we're skinny too, dude. I picked up my chopsticks and bow my head. Itadakimas. Oh, thank you for the food. But we're not going to actually say itadakimas. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's no need to thank me, right? I'd do anything for you. Thanks, Papa. But yeah, okay, one thing also that I do admire about, you know, other cultures and stuff like that is that they can have a big breakfast and not worry about, you know, gaining weight while it's I can't. I have to worry about my weight. <laughs> Damn it, man. I'm fat, dude. Oh my gosh, man. I can't have a big breakfast because, you know, I bloat and then I can't have a big dinner because I bloat. Dude, it's bloating season, bros. <laughs> All year round for me. Oh man, that's why that's why I don't eat anything past eight. And I'd rather starve than, you know, having to regret my choices later on that day. Um, I don't anything for you. Thanks, Dad. I don't doubt it. Dad likes cooking for me. He doesn't have anyone else to pamper since mom always mom's always dieting. Hey, me and me and me and mom, we go together like like cream and strawberries. I don't do diets though, because you know, it's, I don't believe in them, but yeah, I'm glad dad likes looking after me, but the look of expectation on his face as I bring my chopsticks to my mouth is kind of this, this disconcentrating. He's so obsessed with watching me eat that he hasn't touched his own food at all. If I told him I didn't like his food, I think he'd cry. <laughs> Yo, we're going to make dad cry, dude. Come on. It's a lot of responsibility to place in the shoulders of an elementary schooler. Don't you think? 
A. A. <laughs> just say. Fortunately, the food tastes just as good as it looks. The pickled cucumbers crunchy, crunch satisfaction, uh, satisfactorily when I bite into them, and their coolness comes straight nicely with the warm miso soup. So, what do you think? Do you like it? I don't know, Dad. Yes, it's good. Thank goodness. I wasn't too sure about the pickled cucumbers. I usually let them sit in the fridge a little longer. I thought the vinegar might have been too overpowering. No, it's nice. It goes well with the rice. It creates a good contrast, I suppose. Bro, we're we are in elementary and yet we have a defined palette, like, you know, like really defined. Like, yeah, it's it's to perfection. Um uh dad. Yeah. Uh that's exactly why uh what I was going for. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Dad. Dad reaches across the table to shuffle the top of my hair. Dad, you're messing me up, man. The kids at school are gonna laugh at us. Um, he's a little over enthusiastic, but, uh, with how his show of affection actually, and he almost knocks over mom's cup of green tea. Eesh. Careful dear. Okay. So we have mom's eyes, but we have dad's hair. Sweet. Yeah. I'm sorry, Yuki. Uh, it's, it's all right. Just try to be a bit more attentive next time. Yes, dear. Do you like your green tea? I was, should, should I shuffle your hair to down? I mean, we're not dad. We're right. And if you're really interested, dad's name is Sakuraba Kazuki. Unlike mom, you'd probably never heard of him. Bro, we have never heard of mom and dad ever. This is our first time. The reason my mom and dad don't have the same family name, but it's not that important. Oh, there's a reason why mom and dad won't have the family name, but it's not important. Actually, it kind of, eh, whatever. I know it's unusual, but don't worry about it. I think my parents ever, uh, I don't think my parents ever do. You should try to remember that some of us have fi filming to do later today. I don't want to turn up with tea all over my new dress. It costs quite a bit, you know, uh, Sato, that grumpy old nag would have my head. If I dared arrive looking like looking like it's perfect. I'm sorry. I know how hard you've been working. I don't, uh, I don't want to make things more difficult for you. So, uh, did you read anything interesting in the paper? Nothing terribly exciting. Things have been as dull, uh, so dull lately. It's not a good thing. I prefer, I prefer when things are calm and quiet. Well, you may have a point. I was hoping for more bloody murders though. Hmm. Let's not talk about murders at the breakfast table, please. Especially around Rye. You'll upset her. I think Rai's old enough to understand the, the, the finite nature of human life by now. We all must shuffle of this moral coil eventually. Brother, uh, dad, I mean, we, um, we can handle it. Trust me. Maybe so, but we need to be, uh, reminded of that right now. Perhaps not. You're right. Sorry. I've been working on this hospital drama for too long. There are only so many dying teenage girls one can handle in a day. And speaking of work, I ought to go. I ought to get going. I don't want to be late. Mom takes one last sip of the tea and sets out to uh, sets the cup down the table uh, with a small thud. The life of an actress must be pretty hectic. She's always in a hurry and she hardly ever seems to have free, free time. I wonder if dad misses her. If he does, he doesn't say it. He's always been un failingly supportive of mom and her endeavors. Have a good day, Yuki. Take care of yourself. I will, dear. Mom blows a kiss at dad, then pauses by the chair for a few moments. And Rai, I did read something in the paper I thought you might like to hear. What? <laughs> Just like that? What? <laughs> it said that this week would be particularly eventful for Virgos. Apparently you will encounter new friends, have new experiences and face a series of great challenges. Doesn't that sounds exciting? I guess, bro, we are so cold to mom and you know, I'm a, I'm a Libra. So, so close. So, close. well, I suppose that would be good news. If horoscopes were any accurate measure of the worlds around us, they're always so vague and unfixed. Only su uh, superstitious fools said much read it like the, 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 the monitor was at an angle so we full such uh much store in them 
but read them in the newspaper every week. That's because they're romantic. I don't believe in them, but it's nice to imagine what the that the stars really can determine our fate. I don't get it. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need to. I was just being silly. Mom wings. <laughs> I bet all the boys in any in my class would love it if she winked like that at them. I think they all have crushes on her. Even even some of the teachers have crushes on her. Just though, should, just thought I should warn you. If horoscopes are all accurate, you might be in for quite an interesting week. Mom exits the kitchen with a small laugh. She waves at us uh, over her shoulder, but she doesn't turn around. She's far too cool for that. I know that's her only thing. So. Even after all these years, Yuki is still mysterious. She's so. Oh, that is so over head over heels for her. See, I told you. So. <laughs> Unlike mom, dad really are uh, dad's really predictable. I can always preempt what he's going to say. I rise my I rise from my seat and walk over the fridge. I feel like having a glass of milk, though it doesn't go well with miso soup. Uh, milk is nice and refreshing, and it helps keeps the bone strong. Are we drinking milk? But the milk that should be there is not. It's banished. We can't have drunk it at that quickly, though. That was a full carton of it, of it yesterday. Was this all the work of a thief, a poltergeist, or else? Dad, uh, were you giving our milk away to the neighbor's cats again? What? Haha, <laughs> you caught me. Uh, you caught me out, huh? Today, predictable like always. Totally predictable like always. I'm sorry, Ray. I'll buy some milk for the for the store later if you want any. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll get some myself and we uh, on the way back from school. Okay. So we have mom's eyes. We have dad's hair. And we definitely have mom's attitude. 100%, bro. But since I'm the one who gave all the milk away, I should be the one buying more, shouldn't I? Don't worry about it. I mean, I meant to buy some things from the convenience store anyways. This will give me an excuse to finally do it. Bro, when I was in middle school, like about like six years ago, I was not this, you know, like thinking over the over the top of my head with things, bro. I just wanted to go to school, play with like the friends that I had in there and just go back home and like play GameCube or something or even skate, but not. Oh, yes. I'm I'm in elementary school. I'm going to uh you know I'm gonna buy things from the uh from the store. This will give me an excuse to do it. Ah, I see how clever. Nah, not really anyways. I'm heading out. Do you see what I mean? We are as cold as mom. This Monday morning really is the same as last Monday morning, and the one before that, and the one before that. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened, and it'll probably stay that way. Horoscopes, what a load of nonsense. We're too mature for our age. 100%, man. School is dull, just as always. I can back that. <laughs> I try to focus, but it's a sunny day, and the characters in my textbook starts blurring together. I rub my eyes with the, with the back of my arm, but it makes no difference. What's wrong with me today? Bro, we're tired. Window seats like mine are regarded with great jealousy by my fellow classmates, but I hate sitting here. The, uh, these seats are good for you. Good, good. If you want to waste your education, staring at the sky, trying to look mysterious, but they're not good. If you actually want to take notes, uh, much lunchtime rolls around. I end up sitting alone as per usual. The room fills with chatter, but I don't say a word. My lips remain clamped together. I only open it when I can eat my lunch. It's not like I'm lonely or anything, though, so please don't misunderstand. I'm not being bullied either, so I could go and talk to people if I wanted to. I just don't like it. Don't. Wait, what? I just don't. I like being on my own. My mother is pretty famous, so I get asked questions about, a lot about her. Uh, also, it's also, it's always, your mother's so pretty, right? Or, could your mother introduce me to Yamada, right? Or, just how rich is your mother anyway, right? Mm. It's never how are you today, Rie? Re? Rie? I've been calling I've been calling us Ray. It's Rie? Rie? Or could you help me out with my homework, Rie? Or did you catch that TV show uh that was yesterday evening, Rie? 
nobody asked me about me that's probably because they're not interested in me i learned that a long time ago how long ago did we learn that we're in elementary school what do you mean <laughs> my horoscope this morning <clears throat> bro i gotta drink water my horoscope this morning might say uh might have said something about me making new friends but i don't want any friends new or old oh uh, in all honesty i can't stand other people Jeez, we are way too mature for our for our age bro ah i think i should be finished by now wait what we're home now i mean we changed i put my pen down and get my feet stretched and everything the bones in my arms click alarmingly i wonder if i should take this as a sign maybe i should drink more milk <laughs> what do you mean dude oh man brother <laughs> I mean, sister, I mean us. Well, that's all my fault. I try to drink my milk, but somebody keeps giving it away. Well, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We could be straightforward with dad and be like, yo, dad, listen, I know for a fact that you're gonna give the milk to the cats, but can you at least save me a cup for me, dude? Like, you know, I'll pour a cup right now and leave it for tomorrow morning. You can, you know, you can give that milk away if you want, but this cup is mine. All right. Does dad care about my homeless? Uh, okay. Does, uh, does dad care about the homeless cat that stalks this, uh, our streets more than he cares about me, his only daughter? I wouldn't put it past him. He goes berserk or anything small, cute and fluffy. Yo, dude, my dad is the same, uh, but he doesn't, he doesn't care about the cute and fluffy. He just cares about other people rather than his boy just say I'm just <laughs> hey, let's keep going well i bought some milk on my way home from school so i guess i can have a glass of it now wait until it's not in the fridge that wasn't the only thing i bought either i also picked up some butter cocoa powder and eggs it's a cold grocery list most people don't know this I don't have anybody to tell, but I really like baking. It's a hobby I picked up the I picked up from my dad since he was always in the kitchen. I like baking as well. God, dad, please put that apron away, dude. Um, I didn't go to kindergarten when I was a kid. I stayed at home with dad and he looked after me. I was too small to see over the top of the kitchen counters back then. So dad gave me a stool to stand on. I don't need any stool anymore, but I think we still have it lying around the house somewhere dad isn't the most reliable of people but he has he was a good teacher what what does that mean <laughs> dad <laughs> what do you mean uh some might question the safety of giving a four-year-old girl a sharp knife or letting her stir soup over the oven but dad kept a careful eye on me and never i never cut or burnt myself he taught me a lot about useful things. Now, uh, how to peel potatoes, how to cut onions without crying, and how to tell when kitchen uh, when chicken is cooked all the way through. Uh, baking was always my favorite, though. I like sprinkling flour over the counter and rolling out the dough with the wooden pin. I especially like cutting out shapes in the dough uh, with all the different cookie cutters that had stashed away in the kitchen cupboards. It used to feel rewarding when the cookies or pie or pastry that and I made out of the uh, came out of the oven, piping hot, ready to eat. But I still enjoy baking now. Uh, that was uh, that's what I was doing earlier before I made a start on my homework. I saw those cute cookies on TV to show that looked like uh, chess uh, chess boards sets with an alternating black and white square. So as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to try them making them. Uh, the sweet smell of warm dough that drifts from downstairs is delicious. It's always like it's calling out to me. Yes. All right. I guess this is where we're going to leave it off. I hum to myself. Actually, you know, let's save it. There we go. We save. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. there we go. All right. And let's just go back. Yes. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, like, comment down below. We come partner shigating. Oh gosh.
This year, Game Incorporated. Say God, I wonder we're alive because it was a very movie to be the first place. And faith in him and faith in him because everything's going to be all right. Trust me and everyone, please have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah, strawberry vinegar, man. It's kind of odd, bro. Um, but at the same time, I can I can relate to Rie or whatever her name, however you pronounce her name, bro. Um, the only thing I can't relate to is that I am not super skinny like her. Otherwise, I think my life would have been a lot more easier. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. The point is, it's a pretty, um, pretty interesting uh, visual novel for starters, bro. Because, you know, we have mom's attitude. We're called to dad, bro. Like dad just wants to look out for us and mom. And mom just like brushes him off like he was just another, uh, like a trailer assistant in her in her show thing, you know. And we do the same thing, but hey, you know, maybe, maybe later on, you know, this visual novel will take a turn for the best. And once we found whoever she is, you know, um, maybe we'll turn tail or something. I don't know. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Stay in business over. Have fun. Stay safe. Um, don't grow up so quick. If I were to give myself advice, like, like a couple 70 years ago, I would tell myself, Hey man, don't be so anxious to grow up, you know, like have fun while we are a kid, um, you know, having grocery lists like Ray is, or, you know, being called to dad, you know, I never, I, I was never called to my dad, um, but you know, whatever. Um, he just changed, I guess changed because he got married. But anyway, this is at the point. The point is, you know, to have fun. Don't be cold to your parents, you know, um, stay safe, bro. Like really, really, um, just watch out with what, with whatever you're doing, right? Because you don't want to come back to, you know, uh, to the, to this memory a couple years later and be like, dang, I shouldn't have done that, you know, or I shouldn't have done it that way, or I shouldn't have done it this way. You know, always look out, man. Just, just remember to have fun, bro. With your friends. If you don't have friends, you know, go make some it's, um, well, nowadays, I guess nowadays is a little bit harder, I guess, but you know, back then if we had something in common with somebody that would have been your friend right there forever for a long time um and yeah maybe even forever all right guys that's it video's over for reals tomorrow i have no idea what we're gonna play we might play some roblox maybe because we haven't played roblox in a while so we'll probably play some roblox and see what's doing there and um yeah that's it all right guys that's it video's over for real